Hello, everyone, and welcome to Instagram episode of Women Know IT. During our first Women Know IT event, we said you would hear back from us uh, this summer. So here we are at the NDCS offices. You might remember us from the last episode of Women Know IT. If you haven't watched it, make sure you do. But for those uh, who haven't, my name is Katarina. I'm a program manager at Office Team. And I'm Marco. I'm a program manager in the MAPS Team. This initiative started in 2014 under the name Girls in ICT or Ženske Priče u ITU. And back then, we only had a few female employees, uh, but those numbers have kept growing and they keep growing. Yep. Our goal is to empower women to pursue their careers in software engineering industry. And what better way to kick off those careers uh, than an internship? Yep. Internships are very important here at MDCS, as many of our colleagues started as interns. Me, for instance. So today, we want to introduce you to our dear colleague, Milica, who has just started working at the MAPS team, and she has just finished internship this spring, right? Yeah. Hi. Hello, Milica. How are you? Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm fine. I hope you're fine as well. Hi to the Instagram uh, audience. So uh, we named this episode Her Journey. So let's just start with that. Um, can you tell us a bit about yourself and, and your journey? Yeah, well, um, my journey is somewhat of, let's say, peculiar. I, I really like talking about it. So my mom is a software engineer, um, and I remember being in elementary school and learning about a while loop. Uh, so my mom came one day and showed me how a while loop worked. And I remember being fascinated with the concept, how something so simple can be used to make a mind for a machine. And then we can use that machine in order to make human life easier. So from that point on, after, after that event, I knew that I wanted to become a software engineer. So I enrolled the School of Electrical Engineering, the Computer Engineering and Information Theory module. Um, that was the place where I, I thought I needed to start. Um, and when I came there, I came across very inspiring people who showed me that actually anything is possible. But they also showed me that in order to achieve uh, your ambitions and to achieve goals uh, you set in this industry, you have to have a mix of talent and hard work. And I always knew that it was the hard work that was going to take me places. So I knew that there was going to be a lot of sacrifice. I knew I had to put in the work in order to, to achieve my goals. Great. So how did that experience at college uh, set you up for the next steps in your career? So um, as I said, I knew it was going to be the hard work. So I had that part let's say, sort it out. But uh, the next step was to take a leap of faith and take risks to actually apply for things. Um, the experience at university taught me that if you're prepared enough and if you work hard enough, you can get places. So I took the risk. I applied for every big company there is. And I ended up getting an internship in London. But I, I ended up doing that and getting the internship because I, I had uh, a bit of self-doubt but I decided that that self-doubt was not going to stop me to go on and, and kind of uh, pursue my ambitions. How was London? Amazing. Well, London was a, a very interesting experience. It was a very eye-opening experience because I was fresh out of university. That was my first job ever. And I was in a in, um, very big company, a corporation. So I had to adjust to... First, the atmosphere, because at university it's quite different than, than, uh, than in a company. And I needed to learn a lot. I needed to learn how to behave. I needed to learn how to work even harder. So it, it was a very, very educational experience, to say. Nice. And after you gained that fresh experience, what was the next thing for you? So when I came back from London, I... Um, I decided I needed to take a break. I needed to uh, learn about what was there for me, what it is that I really wanted to pursue in my life. I had a short stint as, as, a, as a teaching assistant at the University of Belgrade. Um, I was uh, finishing my, my university, my bachelor of studies, and I was applying for internships, and I applied for an internship here at MDCS, and, and here I am today. We're so glad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You made a good choice. <laughs> so how was your experience here in? In, uh, MDCS especially because you had some experience before. Yeah, so the experience at MDCS was, um, I'd say, immaculate. I, I love it here. That's why I decided to stay. Good word. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, that's why I decided to stay. Um, the work uh, is very satisfying because it's fulfilling one of my goals, and that is to work on something that is accessible to everyone. So I work in maps, and there's not a more universal thing in 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 the industry than a map. Everyone uses it, and everyone can access can access it. So the work itself is very interesting. It's very challenging, and I, I appreciate it. But at the same time, I enjoy the people side of things. Um, the atmosphere is very welcoming. Everyone is is very nice to you, and and I just I really like like it here. <laughs> We're glad. Simple, simple, uh -huh. <laughs> simply put. But to take you back to the to the beginning of the NDCX experience, uh, it starts. It all started obviously with, with applying. How was that the application uh, process for you? What did you feel? What it was like? Yeah, so the application process, every application process is a bit scary because you're taking a leap of faith and you're you're kind of there on like just clicking the button, but you really don't know whether the work you put in is going to pay off in the end. So what happened in in what and what happens in general when you apply, uh, you go and you submit your resume, obviously, and in the resume you you try and put yourself on a piece of paper, and that is extremely difficult for everyone to do. Um, after you apply, I went I, and everyone goes through the process of an online test. So I did the online test and then went on to the interviews. And I remember the interviews being really interesting to me because the questions were challenging. But because the interviewers were very nice, you had the opportunity to kind of show the best in yourself. And I think that that is very nice in all of this and in and, and the entire application process. And so after the interviews, um, I got the offer. Awesome. Great. Awesome. So um, since you are on the, uh, since you had your internship on the best team at NCS Maps, right? Uh, I know it was full of great <laughs> memories, uh, but uh, what, can you pick some, like what were the most special memories uh, from the internship itself? So uh, I was an intern this spring and because of the entire situation the world is in, uh, the internship was online. And although everything was created in a way that I really did feel like a part of the team, I can say that my dearest memory is meeting the team in person and just seeing the people I had felt so connected with in person for the first time. So I met them during a lunch. We had a team's lunch and, and that entire environment and kind of actually having a person next to herself is something that will remain with me for a long time. Nice. nice and um, do you have any message for our audience? Like, how would, what would you say to them before they apply for NDCS or any yeah. other internship? Yeah, well, um, I'm 23 and I always go by what would I like to hear? So yeah. I'm not in the place to preach, but what <laughs> I wanted to, wanted for the audience to get out of this is to think about you have to dare to do it. You have to dare to think you can. Because if I hadn't thought that, okay, I'm, I take the risk, I put in the work, let's see, and let's see what, what's next. I, I dare to think that I can, and I put in the work for, for the outcome to be the best that it can be. But I also, at the same time, had the humility to say, okay, I can do something, yeah. but there's always a step forward. I can always learn more, I can always progress more, and you're never too big to fail. And exactly. the moment you think you're too big to fail, you will fail. Yeah. So I guess the two things to, for, for the audience that I would like for them to think about is dare to think you can, but never think that you're too big to fail. Amazing. Indeed. <laughs> Somebody write this on the wall, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us today and sharing your journey. Thank you. That's all for this episode. Uh, we'll see you soon, and remember to apply for MDCS internships. All the best from the Women OIT team. Bye. Bye.